So, after 26 years of working for a public waterfront here in Hoboken, the Fund for a Better Waterfront thought it was a good time for a quick review. What exactly is a better waterfront? Well, it helps to know about this woman. Do you know who Jane Jacobs is? Jane Jacobs. Oh, that's not ringing a bell. Should I? Jane Jacobs was an activist and writer who cared deeply about the vitality of our cities. In 1961, she published The Death and Life of Great American Cities, a book that criticized the Robert Moses style of planning that revolved primarily around the car. She advocated instead for a community-based model that resembled Greenwich Village with small streets, lots of sidewalks, and a lively streetscape. So it's the Jane Jacobs model of a walkable, bikeable, active, humanely scaled city that we're after when planning a better waterfront. Over the years, three principles have guided FBW's work. It all boils down to, does the waterfront feel public or does it feel private? So one of the reasons that Pier A Park works so well is actually Sinatra Drive. And the reason is that Sinatra Drive is a delineation between what is private space and what is public space. So on this side, you have your upland developed area and you cross the street and you have this park that is undeniably a public space. But look what's going on in this state mandated waterfront walkway in Jersey City. There's no road separating the private from the public space. There's no ground floor retail, no cafes. The result is a kind of ghostly corridor that feels very private. In planning terms, nothing says private quite like a backyard. It's your own space where you hang out with your family, host barbecues, hang your laundry. None of this says public. It's a little awkward. But here in Pier A, we see something different. Here, we have front doors that face the waterfront. So you have cafes and restaurants, you have businesses and apartment buildings, and all their doors are facing the front. So with that comes a lively streetscape, it comes engaging, active life that makes the waterfront a welcoming place to be, a public place to be. The third principle of good waterfront planning is to take the city's street grid, the regular city-sized blocks, and bring them all the way to the waterfront. And what that does is it keeps the scale of the city, the continuity of the city, it keeps it livable and small and lively as opposed to kind of giant bleak super blocks that you see in some other parts of the waterfront. So that's it, the three principles of a better waterfront. These ideas may seem abstract, but they actually work. Planning matters. And you know, I think Jane Jacobs would like it here. Standing on the corner Suitcase in my hand Jackson's course of Jane is in her vest And me, I'm in a rock and roll band Okay! Sweet Jane!